Top 7 Tips to Prevent Heart Attacks of Men and Women Unfortunately, in the news, all you hear about is men having heart attacks. But the women are having more and more heart attacks as we go forward. More women are smoking, more women are gaining weight, and they're joining the ranks of the people who have had heart attacks. What is a heart attack? A heart attack is caused when a portion of the heart muscles loses its supply of blood partially or completely. We're going to go into what you can do about it. How water prevents attacks. Most people don't want to drink water before they go to bed because they feel that they will have to get up during the night. Gravity causes water to retain in the lower half of the body when you are standing. But when you lay down, the lower body is level with the kidneys and it's easy for the kidneys to remove the water because gravity pulls it. Drinking water before sleeping gives your body the minimum amount of water it needs to flush toxins from your body. Drinking water at the correct time maximizes its effectiveness on the human body. Two glasses of water after waking up helps activate internal organs. One glass of water 30 minutes before a meal helps digestion. One, water, one glass of water before taking a bath or shower helps lower blood pressure. One glass of water before going to bed avoids stroke or heart attack. So happy drinking of H2O. Now let's talk about women. Heart disease is the number one killer of women. Learn to protect yourself or someone you love. You know, a lot of people don't realize that Heart attack is the number one killer of women. And these are the things you should do if you're doing them. Stop. Don't smoke. Brush your teeth. The bacteria that grows in your mouth causes gum disease may double your risk for a heart attack. Regular brushing and flossing can sweeten your breath and improve your health. And a lot of people don't know how important that is. Gum disease is a major cause of heart trouble. Choose your birth control wisely. Get your checkup. Drink responsibly. You know, drinking alcohol in moderation, particularly wine, can reduce your risk of dying from heart attack by 25%. For women, moderation means just one drink per day. Have sex, but be safe. Skip the soda. Studies have shown that women who drink two or more sugar-sweetened beverages, such as soda per day, have a higher risk of heart disease. Take your time, read through this, stop the video, and read through this. When you ingest water. When you drink, the water is very important. Drinking water before bedtime maximizes the benefits to the body. Drinking water before sleeping will help avert bedtime leg cramps. You wake up with a charley horse when your leg muscles seek hydration and cause your legs to cramp. Heart attacks timing. Most heart attacks occur during the day, mostly between 7 a.m. and noon. Something unusual could have happened if you had an attack during the night when the heart really should be at rest. Research is showing that sleep apnea can be the cause of nighttime heart attacks. And one of the ways you know you have sleep apnea is that you snore. And snore keeps you waking you up during the night. You may not realize you're waking up, but disrupting your sleep and can be the cause of heart attacks. So beware. And if you are snoring heavily, if your wife is complaining, make sure you get a sleep apnea test, uh, sleep's less done. How to protect yourself. If you're currently taking a baby aspirin once a day, start taking one also at night. Aspirin has a 24-hour half-life. Because most heart attacks happen in the early morning hours, the effect of aspirin will still be in your system. You should keep aspirin by your bedside as your first line of defense against heart attacks. Why keep it by your bed? Because most heart attacks happen most while you are in bed. Aspirin has a very long shelf life. So it's not the used by date uh, labels on it. Heart attack symptoms. First symptom we all know is the pain in the left arm. You, uh, there are other symptoms that occur less frequently. 
intense pain in your chin, extreme sweating, as well as nausea. You know, for no reason you start sweating profusely, it could be that you're having a heart attack. Be aware you may not feel any pain in the heart area. You know, your arm may be feeling, you may be sweaty, you may be nauseous, but your chest area is not hurting. The sudden death from heart attacks occurs mostly during sleep. If you do have a heart attack in your sleep and you are lucky enough that it wakes you up, you uh, wake up and you chew two aspirins in your mouth and swallow with water. So now immediately call 911. Say after you take two aspirins, call 911. Then call a neighbor or family member who is nearby and say heart attack. Do not lay down. Go to your front door and sit on a chair and wait for the arrival of help. Don't worry that it may be a false alarm because it may be the real thing. Better to be safe than sorry for waiting too long. Water can save your life. Make it a habit of drinking two glasses of water after waking up. Two cups of coffee also count to help activate your body's internal functions. One glass of water 30 minutes before a meal helps with digestion and weight loss. One glass of water before taking a bath helps lower blood pressure. One glass of water before going to bed may prevent heart attacks and even strokes. Look at this diagram here. Water, on average, we can live three days without water versus three weeks without food. That shows you how vital water is to your body and your, your well-being. Seven steps to a healthier heart. You don't have to take big chances to reduce your heart attack and stroke risk. There are seven healthy habits that could save your life. First one is eat heart healthy diet. Make vegetables and fruits, more grains and fish, meat, mealtime staples. Limit sodium, saturated fat, and added sugar. And that added sugar is carbohydrates. Cut down on the amount of carbohydrates you consume. Pizza, bread, pasta, rice, potatoes, all the things that turn to sugar once they enter your body. Get active. Log 150 minutes of moderate intensive activity like brisk walking per week or 75 minutes of vigorous intense activity. Control your blood sugar. Aim for fasting blood glucose less than 100 milligrams. And that comes from exercising and also cutting down on the carbs. Watch your cholesterol. Strive for a total cholesterol less than 200 milligrams. And you know, uh, carbohydrates are one of the causes of increase in cholesterol. Maintain a healthy weight. Target a body mass of less than 25%. Now, those of us struggling with weight, this is a big issue. Monitor your blood pressure. Keep your numbers below 120 over 80. Live smoke-free. If you smoke, quit. You know, there's so much publicity and bad reports about the effects of smoking that it's impossible to understand how people still smoke. But... If you smoke, we have some wonderful videos of how I stopped smoking in three days, and you can too. Please share this information. You can save somebody's life. Think of all the lives that can be saved if all our viewers will share this video with their family and friends. Will you be one that shares this? We have our wonderful ebooks available for immediate download. Power of Mindfulness for Weight Loss and Other Topics, and the Ketogenic Diet Discover the Low Carb Difference to Bring Down Your Sugars. We also have our wonderful e-course packages for weight loss, a bronze package, silver package, and gold package that will fit into anyone's budget. Again, pass this on, share this information. You could be saving someone's life, and it could be yours. Bye-bye.